Okay, our crypt room, our special crypt room is looking really interesting now, but I'm going to add a secret door here. Uh, the reason why I'm going to add the five foot secret door here is because this is where five foot doors connect, as you can see from the blue guidelines. We will, we'll select a floor and we'll make it a nice, uh, something a bit creepy. There we go, we'll make it a dirt grey floor. We'll start in the mask area and just draw our floor in. We better add some walls to it, so I right click for the walls and I'll go for a grey wall here and here. Done. Let's re refresh that. Looks good. We better put a uh, secret door symbol on it. Click on the door symbol catalog. Find our secret door symbol and I'm just going to whack it straight there. Now, I'm going to show you a different technique for hiding parts of a map. As you know, if you uh, printed off this battle map with the secret door, all the characters' minis would just go lump straight there. We don't want that. So what we'll do uh, is, first of all, I'm going to turn off the, the um, guides. So I'll hide that one, which is the 20 foot connectors, and I'll hide that one, the 5 foot connectors. Now, layers can also be used to hide things, as we were just doing with those guide connectors. This means that if this wall and floor and symbol here are on a layer that we can hide and unhide, we can dynamically switch them. And uh, the dungeon designer already has a layer for that built in. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the change properties tool here. We're going to select the wall and the floor and the symbol and that floor. That would be four elements altogether. Make sure that you've got just the four elements you want selected. And then go right click, do it, and select the layer instead of being the current layer which is wall features. Change that to secret and click on OK. Now let's redraw it. Going to go to the layers again, and I've just noticed that our uh, grids are not turned on. We've accidentally hidden the the grids, so there we go. I'll turn that back on. And I'm going to turn the secrets into hidden. So there you go. Now when we redraw it, no secret entrance. So we could print that, but we could easily go back and say, turn on my secrets and hide them and then we could print that for when they finally find the door. That way you can have two battle maps, one with secret uh, elements to it and one without secret elements printed on it, um, which you can just inter uh, quickly print and then interchange during play. Wonderful. Uh, let's put the uh, evil uh, Lich's Crypt in here as well. So what I'm going to do is go to my temples library here and I'm going to find a particular slab. There he is. I love this one. And I think that we should put him maybe up against this. I'm going to turn off my snap for the moment. And I'm just going to pop him down there. Because I had him on snap, he was snapping into the wall. I didn't want that. I just wanted him a little bit outside of the wall. So that's why I turned off my snap. Let's redraw. Fantastic. We now have a, an excellent and very odd looking room.